Substitutes bench. Bristow. Odin Bailey. Ten minutes to go then. Well, putting all their energies into winning back possession. Well, a goal update for us to know about. Let's hear more from Alex Scott. It's a goal for Colchester United. It was an early cross into the box, and it was a great headed finish. They're now behind by one, with just under 10 minutes left to play. The fans are enjoying what they see. And they're still in with a show, thanks to the keeper just then. Well, that's a really important save, but can they get back into this match? I'm not sure they can. And a confident clearance. Well, we never like cutting off Alex, but sometimes we have to do it for understandable reasons when things are happening. Just to clarify for you, the home side finding the net in that game, but they are behind overall. 3-1 is the score. A decisive clearance it was. We might very well have late excitement here. Five minutes to go, and just one goal between them.
Well, they've lost possession of the ball. Clearly took a touch on the way out of play, so a throw in to come. Done with it now. Nick Powell. Bailey. They're showing a willingness to attack, as they must, given the circumstances. Time running out. Bristow. And he's won the ball. Lewis. Dunn. It's with Pell. On to Dunn. Oh, he's lost possession of the ball. It's still there for him. It was on its way in. Short corner taken. Firing it towards goal. Vital intervention. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. Wooten. Fraser Horsfall. Odin Bailey. They are making headway, but really they need a goal with time not on their side. And there it is, the full-time whistle here, and it's a victory for the visitors. Well, Derek, it was a really tight game, but they were the better side over the 90 minutes, and they fully deserved their victory today. been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change can someone get on the end of this and a good take under duress there now the situation has changed in one of the other games I'm hearing let's go to Alex Scott it's another goal for Harrogate Town it was a poor, poor clearance, and then it was far too easy for him after that. They pulled ahead by two with... Seven... Sorry, Alex, could be a goal here. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Well, this corner could be pivotal. It might represent the last chance to get in front in the dying moments. Well, gifting away possession. Well, smuggled behind for another corner. And clearing his lines. Well, Alex was in full flight. Alas, we had to cut her off just moments ago. To reconfirm for you, the away side did score. Can they forge ahead? And still a chance. And behind it goes the concession of a corner here. And time for the change now. Who's going to get on the end of it? And making sure it wasn't problematic. And he cuts in from the wing, making sure nothing untoward happened. Really bright-looking attack. Released it nicely. And with that, they've thwarted the opportunity. I believe there's been a goal in one of the other matches. Alex Scott has the details. Yeah, it's a goal for Tranmere Rovers. They've pulled one back with 85 minutes played. Thank you, Alex. And with that, the attack fizzles out. What was the chance they could get caught out on the break here? Oh, that must take the lead here. And they do! 
And with so little time left, that will surely be decisive. Astonishing drama. Well, here it is. 1v1 against the keeper, and the outcome was never really in doubt. He never looked like missing that. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Wilson with it. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? Trailing as they are, they're not likely to get too many opportunities late in this game. And he's lost custody of the ball here. Oh, that's a really good run. Simple save, really. On to Dunn. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. Happy to take on the shot. Able to get his body in the way. In position here to protect the ball. And there it is, the final whistle, and the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces. Well, Derek, what a good finish to the game that was. They just wore down the opposition, and in the end, they got their reward. That's a really good win for them.
Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. It's with Taylor. A move of promise on the flank. Well, let's see about the cross. Oh, denied by the post. Well, how close was that? Will they get another chance to get this equaliser? Time's running out on them now. Well, news of a goal in one of the other matches. Over to Alex Scott. It's a goal for Colchester United. It was a low-driven cross, and he was never going to miss from there. They've pulled one back and now trail by one, with ten minutes left on the clock. Thanks, as always, to Alex Scott. On the attack in the closing phase. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Harry Pell. Karambayi. It's with Pell. It did look on for them, but not to be. And teammates around him. And showing fine vision. Well, far too much on that particular cross. It is to be a throw-in. So making the substitution now. Nicely timed tackle. Five minutes to go. Right. How can they turn one of these attacks into a goal? Well, it came to nothing in the end. work to regain possession good idea still alive well somehow the goalkeeper got to it well having been awarded the corner they'll no doubt look to put the issue beyond all doubt found wanting a bit with that delivery On to Taylor. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. Clark Oduor. Not the pass he had in mind. Reeves. Might work out. Oh, so close to up. And that is that. The referee blows his whistle for full time. And it's a victory for the visitors. Well, Derek, it was a tight game. Both sides had their moments and chances, but overall, they just about shaded it. A well-earned...
dangerous times don't fly too high Be sure to keep the ground in sight Fly forever if you keep it tight Love the world but keep the sky on your mind Aspirations. I got shit to do, the aftermath of preparation Good. And now they will make the personnel change Crossing possibilities, and the cross smuggled away. Tension building still level. Well, you've got to classify that as a poor attempt, a long way wide. Lewis done with it now on the offensive can he put them in front he does and with so little time left that might be the winner wonderful drama well as you can see he's a great talent what a run what a goal and what a play he is Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Reed. How can they find a late leveller? And in with a real chance. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. And there it is, a goal! I must say, much to the annoyance of the keeper. Well, here it is again, and I feel a bit sorry for the goalkeeper. He makes a good save to start with, but where are his defenders following in? Instead, it's the attacker who's alert. He gets to the ball first, and it's a good finish. So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. Arthur Reed. Five minutes left. Well, they have the advantage. That's good refereeing. Giving the ball away. Opportunity in the wide area. 
Oh, a fine block. There's the cutback. And putting pay to the danger.